afternoon. Welcome to another grey and cloudy day here in the Charente in southwest France. Yeah, it is the last day of May and uh, yeah, the weather has just been absolutely unreal, hasn't it, for months and months, well, since about October. I think this time last year, I think we'd already had about four weeks of summer. Uh, it's supposed to be a bit warmer next week, not that I want it ridiculously warm, but um, it'd be nice to get a bit of sunshine. Really struggling to get some, uh, get some progress. Progress is very, very slow. So I'll show you what I've been up to in just a second. Uh, just quickly, I've been uh, watching a YouTube channel. Uh, for some reason, YouTube are giving me recommendations for channels that are based in Japan. I've no idea why. <laughs> Perhaps, uh, yeah, maybe I have watched one or two videos from Japan over the last couple of months. But anyway, yeah, it's recommended me this channel. Uh, this guy, um, I don't know if he lives alone. Um, uh, he, uh, he seems to make videos explaining how lonely and bored he is and how he's got no friends and um, yeah it's getting quite a lot of attention uh, yeah this video I'll put it up on the screen he's uh, it's had over 150,000 views and it's just a guy sitting in his kitchen I think just talking I've been talking in English I mean it's amazing his, his English is fantastic um, and yeah what I wanted to talk about is that the amount of comments this video has had I'll put a link in the description so you can go and watch it. But the comments, like two and a half thousand comments, all people saying a similar thing. Yeah, we've got no friends. I'm bored, nothing to do. I play computer games, I don't do anything else. And these are people that are 30, 40 or 50 years old. So I'll be interested to know what your, um, what your opinion is on, on that. Having nothing to do. I get that having no friends having no friends bit I get that um, friends are difficult to keep and finding friends that you can trust is not easy I um, I've I've met quite a lot of people since I've been here in France and I only really talked to a handful of people I'd um, yeah I've uh, I've had some iffy experiences since I've been in France not really going to go into too much detail but there are some scumbags here there's some lovely people as well but there are a lot of people in here that you don't want to talk to and you wouldn't recommend anyone else talk to as well but i'm interested to know what your point of view is i've got an older audience and i'm guessing as you get older it is difficult to keep people around and to get out and about i understand if you can't get out and about to make friends to go out and the pubs are closing left right and center um yeah it'd be interesting to get your room to get your take on the subject so yeah check out that video and uh, leave a comment below me well as for being bored i can't remember the last time i finished the day where i didn't smell like an old cheeseburger honest to god <laughs> i've been so busy i think i say i've been so busy in every video don't i but um yeah as soon as it stops raining i rush in the house to do something and then when it's dry and the sun tries to come out i run outside to do something
So the rain has just been ridiculous, honestly. It's just, I, don't, I can't remember the last time we had a completely dry day. Maybe we're getting one dry day a week and it's been like that for the last, I don't know, like I say, seven or eight months. Um, yeah, a lot of my plants are suffering. These foxgloves have gone uh, quite a nice shade of pink, actually, the uh, foliage. And um, my napita down there looks like it's, um, well, looks like it's rotting. But um, yeah, the foxgloves fox gloves look like a nice colour. As for these guys over here, yeah, they're pretty much, <laughs> pretty much done. Uh, the peonies, yeah, they didn't really flower properly this year. Uh, yeah, I've got one there that's looking kind of rotten. So I'll be honest, I kind of started to freak out a little bit. Not majorly, but I am definitely getting anxious. I'm getting nowhere. Well, I feel like I'm getting nowhere. I'm running around just trying to maintain the place, try and keep it looking reasonable. Uh, and that's kind of slowing progress down inside of the house. Um, yeah, progress on the bedroom is painfully slow. Uh, I've got a chair to sort out and I've got to try and get that out of the bedroom somehow. Seems I've made the bedroom door too small for the chair to get out, which is kind of stupid. Uh, that'll have to come out through the window. So yeah, painfully slow progress in the bedroom. I need to get a coat of paint on the walls. And this fireplace, this fireplace is starting to, um, starting to get me a little anxious. Yeah, this chimney situation. Um, it's definitely got me out of my comfort zone and I need to uh, I need to make a decision on it sharpish so I've been doing some homework about how to um, how to finish that off because ideally I'd like to buy the correct cast concrete top for it um, but yeah quite difficult to quite difficult to measure it <laughs> as you can imagine I have kind of done it measured some bricks and then you know so what see what I've got up there and um, but I've also been looking at other houses and other buildings and seeing what their um, chimneys are like. Yeah, it's a bit of a tricky one really because it doesn't actually need to be open open as if it's going to be used but I need to keep it, maybe I need to keep it so it can be used in the future. Anyway, yeah, I've been doing my homework, looking around, seeing what's available and I have kind of found the thing that I think I need but yeah, quite expensive and it is 18 feet off the ground so that in itself is quite nerve-wracking uh, yeah, in a bit of a pickle with that one and I can't make any progress on the fireplace in the bedroom until that's done because rain is dripping down the chimney and uh, I can't be blocking that off while that's going on, can I? So uh, yeah, that is definitely on my mind. Anyway, I thought I'd just give you a little catch up. Been busy in the garden when it's not raining and uh, progress is slow. So yeah, leave a comment below. I'd love to um, explore the subject of friends and being bored, because the idea of being bored here, I'm like, what, what, time to play computer games? No, definitely not. See you later.